In this video, we will look at two examples to practice working with tessellations. In example B, it says, does a regular pentagon tessellate? Okay, so first of all, a regular pentagon, that's a five-sided shape where all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same length. So it's approximately like that. So if it tessellates, it means that this angle, one of the interior angles, must go into 360 degrees because we're looking at if I kept trying to add more pentagons to this central part right here, would they all fit? Like maybe it would just take three. It's sort of hard to tell when you're just drawing. So we have to test the math to see is this actually possible? So we have to figure out what is, how many degrees is one interior angle for a pentagon? So remember that the sum of interior angles is 180 times the number of sides minus 2. And that's for the sum of interior angles. So we'll need to do that first and then divide by 5 to figure out one interior angle. So here we're talking about n equals 5 because it's a pentagon with 5 sides. So we're going to do 180 times 5 minus 2, which is 180 times 3, which is 540. Now, that's the sum of all five interior angles for one pentagon. So that means one angle will be 540 degrees divided by five, which is 108 degrees. So that means this is 108 degrees, this is 108 degrees, and this can't possibly be part of a regular pentagon because 108 degrees doesn't go into 360. If a poly po polygon tessellates, it means that 360 divided by its interior angle, so in this case 108, will be a whole number. But because 360 divided by 108 is 3.333 repeating, it means that a regular pentagon doesn't tessellate because it would take more than three, but not quite four pentagons to fill in the circle in the center for 360. So the answer is no. Example C says, how many squares will fit around one point? All right, so if we have a square, we know that each of its angles is 90 degrees. So if this is our central point, the question is, how many squares will it take to fill that up? Well, around the whole point is 360 degrees, and 360 divided by 90 is 4. So that means it will take 4 squares to fit around one point. So let's just see that. We could draw in another square here, so that's another 90 degrees, and another square here, which is up to 270 degrees total. Oops, but that's another 90 degrees. And finally, here's our fourth and last square in order to fit perfectly around the point. So a square is an example of a shape that tessellates because its interior angle of 90 degrees goes evenly into 360 four times. And so since there's exactly four squares around a point, you could keep repeating this. It's not a very interesting tessellation, but you could keep just fitting in squares with each other and it will all fit in perfectly without any gaps.